An online community is a great way to build raving fans in and around your business. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a new community platform called Heartbeat. So let's go for a tour. So I'm on the website here, and one of the things I noticed initially, coming down to the integration section, is an integration with Outlook Calendar and Google Calendar. One of the things I think is most important that make a community successful is your ability to communicate with the outside world. Communities that are hard for people to sign up to, hard to register, hard to know when they're on, or maybe difficult to get the emails coming in, they're the ones that tend to fail. Community platforms that connect well with the world around them are more likely to succeed. Trust me, I've tried and failed with tons of community platforms. I've used Facebook groups, I've used LinkedIn groups, Slack groups, Discord groups, a WordPress LMS and Buddy Boss solution, Salesforce, Zoho Connect, Zoho Desk, online communities. I do finally have a community platform that I use and I enjoy, and I'll put a link to that in the comments. So one question everybody has is pricing, and I know you can go to the website, but I think it's really important to, to talk through this. You know, you can get set up, you've got fewer members, but in this one, you've actually got a really low starting cost, and you've got the ability to add up to a thousand members just on the lowest pricing tier. You can do most of the things that you can do in any of the other tiers, but you're pretty much only gonna be paying $40 for quite a while before you end up having to pay for the next tier. And the only difference is some white labeling, autoresponder, and support. Now, I'm always doubtful when I see a Zapier integration because that means that they're just doing integration in a lazy way. Okay, so let's have a look. I've set up a trial here and we've got all of the uh, steps that are completed. Now, all I've got to do is invite members. A really important step when starting a community is seeding your audience with the right people. Getting that right early on, getting some early adopters, people who are going to put content content in there can really help you build a great community. If someone gets in there and there's crickets, well, they're just gonna leave. So I've just selected threads here and threads seems to be like the feed page and we can see there's like some groupings, some rooms here. Obviously there's a premium area and then direct message. So obviously you can do one-to-one -one chat and then you can have a paid or a gated area. And much like Discord, you've got this voice room. So let's go and create a post. So it's very simple. I do have some code block here or an embed link. But now that I've selected it, I don't really have anywhere to close that unless I click off. So then if I wanna make a post, I can do a poll. I've just added my hello world here and then I can schedule the post for future. Okay, so let's just post that one. So now that I've posted it, obviously this is the banner and I can change a banner for that area. People can leave an emoji, they can write a reply and they can leave GIF or an attachment. Then you've got courses. Now courses look to be in the free plan. So it'd be interesting to see if we can create pricing free access. Okay, so I've just gone and created a course and really I just added some basic text, a lesson and then a chapter and it does not look like I can add a lot of really detailed content and I can't really sell it individually. So obviously docs is just a, an upload section so if you're adding lots of PDFs you've got events which really just seems like another form of basic post. So let's create an event. So we've got a title, description, date, recurring, event location next. I do know some other platforms that make the events section a paid add-on or that you have to do it in the, in the higher pricing tier. Okay, so then let's go over to directory. Now directory is obviously the member list. So this is me, I've put in my profile and not too much more. Can't really add any custom fields. You can't really have too much of a backlog history on that person. You can do private chat. All right, let's go over to matchups. So matchups is, looks kind of interesting. Looks like you can allow automatic recommendations of who this person should meet. Now, I can imagine that if you're in this thing for a long time, you might want to turn that off. There's an analytics area, and then you can see some basics, you know, how many times people have posted, where people are using the platform and just a basic time scale up to about 90 days worth of data. You've got activity, when your active hours are, public conversations, top threads, top channels, etc. And then engagement. So how many times are people logging in? How many times are they viewing documents, attending voice rooms, threads, etc. Okay, my favorite place to go, let's check out the settings. So in the settings, obviously you've got the app and you've got a few basic settings here. You can change the theme, custom domain, pretty self-explanatory, email settings. So you can create a custom email domain and it looks like we can add some of the email templates, just very basic. Community sidebar, which looks to be this, this side piece over here. 
you can create a default onboarding experience. So asking some questions of your new members and creating or getting them to add social links, profile picture, etc. You can send invitation links to the groups. You can manage some groups. You can set some user roles. You can administer all users. Okay, products. Now I've recently set up a new Stripe account into another community platform, which required me to create what seemed like a brand new Stripe account. And you, as you can see here under the new Stripe regular a new business will be created when you connect your Stripe account. So it does mean that you have a whole new instance specific to your Heartbeat account. So if you're trialing lots of platforms, you may not wanna go and set up 20 different Stripe accounts in that way. You've gotta manage affiliates. So affiliate programs are great for helping your members to earn revenue by referring you for either specific products or for joining as a member. Pixel, workflows, send a new DM, integrations. Like I said, I do like the Outlook and Google capability. Zoom, interesting that you've got Salesforce here. Notion is used a lot by creatives. And when you, if you wanna sign up to an affiliate for Heartbeat, then they actually have it on their own Notion page. Peerboard. Circle. Okay, so Circle is obviously a competitor and they've got the ability to import and same by the looks of things is Peerboard and Slack. So both of these are trying to allow people to move from these other platforms into this one. But you, if you import, you're still going to have to invite everybody to set up a password. Not to say setting up the password for Heartbeat or getting in the first time wasn't as straightforward and it took a little bit longer. It was a little bit more clunky. So that initial experience wasn't great. API keys, you got the ability to create an uh, API. Now we've got the desktop app, an iOS app, and an Android app that you can use with the platform. People can manage their notifications, manage their group settings, and then there's just billing in the plan level that you're on. If you find this content useful, please give us a subscribe, a like, and leave a note in the comments. So Heartbeat is a community option. It is a little bit cheaper in the licensing price, but it could be a little bit more sophisticated than what it is. A lot of the features seem a lot more basic than some of the other platforms that I've reviewed. If you found this review useful, you might like to see one of our other community reviews in this video here.